Hello yeah. guys, welcome back to Lena. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to use Crayon CRM. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. So in this case, you might be wondering how do you start using Crayon CRM here. So in this case, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the official website for uh, Crayon CRM, which is CrayonCRM.com. And if you're not aware yet, you could actually uh, do a demo here for Crayon. Which in this case, you go and click on view demo here and it will open up a new page, which in this case, you can go ahead and try using the platform or app itself. So using the platform itself, uh, an overview, uh, this one, uh, obviously there's going to be a lot of things that you do here within uh, Crayon here, but uh, we just need to discuss the overview and the things that you can do here. So first is we have our dashboard. So the dashboard actually gives you details or overview of what things is currently happening on your uh, project or in this case, your team. So in this case, we have the uh, one revenue, your lost revenue, and your average lead, uh, lead value here, total quotations, and any information that might be useful to you, which is something pretty awesome here. Now, by the way, you can go ahead and organize them in dates as well. So if you, you can go and select the uh, from, and two dates here to filter out what information you want to see. Now, if you want to view your leads, you can go to the left panel here and view your leads. Now, the crazy thing for this one is you have different views that you could uh, see. So as you can see, uh, this is in a board format. As you can see, there are going to be different cards. You can even click one of the cards here and view the details for that specific card, what's currently happening. So currently, this lead is, uh, lead is pretty new. So in this case, these are the activities uh, currently happening on it. So as you can see, there are going to be some solu uh, solutions like uh, things that you do, like mail, uh, even file, add some notes, add some activity if you need it be. Now, let's go ahead and go back one page here. Now, in this case, you could even filter them, search for a specific lead here if you want to. Now, if you want to add a new one, you can go and click on the plus button here, and it will actually uh, allow you to add a new lead, which is something pretty awesome. But yeah, so going back with the views, you could actually click on the uh, list view here. So as you can see, this is the uh, Kanban uh, view. As you can see, it is a format. So depending on how you want to view your leads, you could actually uh, switch over to the one that you prefer. Now, since we have leads, we also have codes here that you can view. So when you go, uh, go ahead and click on codes here, this gives you details for different codes that uh, your team might have added or you, you might have added. If you want to create your own, you can go ahead and click on create code at the top right here. Now, if you want to edit, print, or delete a code, you can go and click on the appropriate button. The pencil icon here allows you to edit, uh, print, uh, print icon here allows you to print, and the trash can icon here allows you to delete that. Now, again, you can have the option to search for a specific code here, just in case you're searching for something specific. Now, a great thing about, a great thing about this one is you can also view your mail from here. Now, you can view your inbox, your draft, your outbox, your sent, and even the uh, deleted, uh, uh, in this case, mail for your account. Now, if you go to activities, this actually shows you the current activities for your uh, team. So in this case, it shows you what happened. So like uh, before I showed you what uh, the lead section, uh, it uh, allows you to add different activities. So if someone actually added an activity, it will show up in here. Now, also, you can visit different contacts, maybe a person or organization. So you can be a property, uh, um, in this case, organize them. So if it's an organization or person, you have the option to add them in here, view them, edit them, delete them in here. So it uh, makes it makes information, um, organization, and contact details a lot easier for you since you'll be able to manage them this way. Also, if you want to manage your products, you could, go, you could go to products here. You can create your own product edit your product, and even delete that product. Now, if you want to change a few things with your uh, uh, creating here, you can go to settings here, which in this case allows you to create groups, roles, users, manage those. Uh, you have the option to uh, manage your lead. So either pipeline, sources, your types here, your warehouse, uh, some automations if you want to uh, create one, like workflows, webhooks, and other settings like web forms and tags. Now, if you want to add, like, for example, configurations here, you can go to configurations, you can go to your uh, their general settings here. And from here, it actually allows you to change your local settings. But yeah, so those are the things that you do here, obviously, on uh, Crane. But if you, oh, for example, if you click on the plus button here, it actually allows you to uh, basically create uh, a few things a lot easier or a lot faster. So like, if you want to create leads, codes, email, person's organization so overall the ui is quite good because it makes things a lot simpler you can even you can even switch over to uh the dark mode here at the top right if you want 
But yeah, so those are the things that you might want to know here before you start using uh, Crane like CRM. But in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video is able to help you like and subscribe to Lenap. Thank you for watching.